get my hands out of the way, do it in a way that you can kind of see what I'm doing. Go ahead. There. I'll do that. Just dig into the cork with the brad. You can see that. Okay. All right. Let me go ahead and do this hole here. on that okay and we're making progress let me stick my bread here I'm gonna start tapping it down whoops I came a little bit and go ahead put the other one in place Grab my countersink and uh, finish tapping this in. Hold on a second. All right, back with my countersink. I'll go ahead and put that in. All right, make sure that's. Setting in the hole there. All right. That one in. All right. Well, here we go. Um, Got this ground throw in place and uh, points move smoothly from side to side. And uh, I think I mentioned earlier that uh, this needs to be a little snug, but uh, you don't you don't want to make it too snug because what'll happen is if when you nail this down, if it's too snug, it will force the throw bar down into the cork and it'll bind up uh, the points so you don't want to make it too snug so <laughs> um, just the caveat there because I have run into that problem where I didn't drill the hole in the throw bar big enough so uh, just keep that in mind when uh, you're putting your ground throw in if you happen to be using a caboose manual ground throws so Anyway, uh, points move freely back and forth. I'm using this screwdriver because I don't want to get my hands in the way. Uh, so now it's time to uh, run an engine in there to test it and make sure things are operating smoothly. All right, I'll zoom this puppy out and I'll run an engine through the turnout. Make sure um, everything's working okay. So here we go. Make sure I got this. Whoa, wrong direction. There we go. Have it go through. Nice. See, there's no power to the frog, and uh, uh, dead frog method works fine. You just got to make sure your engines are clean and it's getting power from both trucks. Let's see that go through like that. Yeah, that's working pretty good on the straightaway. Smooth. And we go on the diverging turn. There we go. Goes to there. Also pretty smooth. And Looks like we got a winner here, folks. So I think this pretty much wraps up uh, this video series on hand laying and installing a turnout. So uh, as the song goes, what a long, strange trip this has been. <laughs> uh, 
I think this would make this 58 uh, parts. So if you have the patience to sit through all this stuff, more power to you. So anyway, um, I'll be posting other videos in the near future of other series. So adios amigos.